Hi everybody, I'm Sally. I have been working as a radiographer in Melbourne for the last six years. Radiographers are not well represented in the media. In movies or TV shows, you always see the doctors or the nurses doing the x-ray or CT scans. But in reality, Radiographers are the only qualified people who are allowed to perform x-ray and CT examinations. These are our areas. And even if you see a radiographer on a TV show, that person is portrayed as a creepy person working in a dark room who just pushes buttons. Don't want to know who they are. Don't want to know how they're doing. Just want to go click, click and get them out of here. But we are more than that. There is a really good Japanese comic slash TV show called Radiation House. All of the pathologies, examinations and equipment were very accurately presented. So if you'd like to find out more about the work of a radiographer, I would highly recommend you to read the comic or watch the TV show. A lot of people have no idea what radiographers do. When I tell people that I'm a radiographer, some people think that I work on a radio station. So I explain to them that I am a photographer who uses radiation. And when the patients ask me, oh, can you tell me there's a fracture? I'll be like, I'm a photographer. I take the photo, but I cannot tell you what's in the photo. And radiographers are also referred as medical imaging technologists. And if you are trained in ultrasound, you also call yourself a sonographer. So hopefully by the end of the video, you will learn more about the world of radiography and you can decide if radiographer is a career for you. Anyway, we will start with some personal questions. Why did you become a radiographer? Well, I didn't have that many options. I was on a student visa and I would love to live and work in Australia. So there were only several options for me to choose from if I want to apply for the permanent residency. I knew I wanted to work in healthcare, so I was choosing between physiotherapy or radiography. My family told me to choose radiography because they thought that physiotherapy is too much physical work for me, but they were wrong. So in radiography, there's a lot of physical manual work. Imagine you have an unconscious trauma patient on an emergency trolley, and you need to move that patient across onto the x-ray table to take some x-rays. And then you have to move the patient's body, the arms and the legs to take x-ray from different angles to show the fractures. It is a lot of physical work. So if you think that once you become a radiographer, you just get to stand behind the screen and to push the button, it is not that easy. The other reason I chose radiography is that I find it very interesting that you can see inside the patient's body without cutting that person open. It's almost like magic. Do you love your job? I love my job now. I kind of have to emphasize on the word now because after working there for six years, I knew this is a career for me and I would love to work there until the end of my career. But at the start of my career, I did not have the luxury to ask myself if I love it or not. Because I wanted to apply for the permanent residency and I need to stay in the job for at least two years. So I got my permanent residency, I did question myself if I want to stay in this career for the long term. There is up and down. Sometimes you don't feel appreciated as a radiographer because people will think that your job is very easy, you just push the button, and sometimes you don't get the respect from the doctors. But after a while, as I learned more about my job, I found purpose in my work and I really enjoy it. And if I could do it all over again, I would still go down this path. Would you recommend radiography to someone else? It depends on their personality and it depends on their situation. If you want to become a doctor, but you couldn't get in because of the score or whatever reason, and you choose radiography as your second best, that's not a good option. And the other thing is before people get into radiography, I think they need to have a reality check and they need to find out exactly what their job is involved. Because some people thought that maybe after you finish radiography, you can study a master and become a doctor. Because in nursing, you can progress and become a nurse practitioner, which allow you to order x-ray and make diagnosis. But in radiography, you don't have that pathway in Australia. I know in England, some radiographer can do um, x-ray reporting, but in Australia, Red dot system is not that common. What kind of people are suitable for a career in radiography? I would say people who are hardworking and have an attention to detail. So as I mentioned before, there's a lot of physical work in radiography. And as a radiographer, you do do shift works. So that means you could be working overnight, you'll be on call on the weekend. If you get a call at 2 a.m., you have to go back to the hospital and do that CT scan. You just have to do it. And you also need attention to detail because sometimes the small thing on the x-ray may be pathology. And the pathology may be covered by other anatomy, 
So you really need to focus on that picture and to make sure you have given the doctor your best shot to show the patient's problem. They say picture can paint a thousand words, just like an x-ray or a CT scan or an MRI scan. It shows you exactly what the problem the patients have. What are your favorite things about the job? I would say patience and art. The patience do make your day better. Because now that I'm in MRI, I see a lot of oncology patients. So sometimes I see them every three months, every six months, or maybe every year. And when you see them again, and you see their health improve, it really gives you that rewarding feeling. Because you're part of their recovery plan as well, and you're there to monitor their progress. So it is amazing to see them getting better. And the other thing I say about art is that when you take an x-ray, when you do an MRI scan, your name is on the scan. You really have to take pride in your work. 